I've always suspected that there are certain questions that are entirely legitimate that pollsters actually just don't poll because they're too scared of what the results will be. And I think January 6th is one of these people, one of these questions. I would not be surprised in the least if a very sizable minority of registered Republicans in today's party actually outright condone and support January 6th or alternatively deny the thing altogether. Uh, and, and I don't believe that Republican politicians like this would be doing embarrassing well, things of this sort if they didn't really have some kind of resonance with their constituents. I, I mean, it is like the pinnacle of this sort of whataboutism, that sort of like, well, you can't be mad at me because what about that thing you did once? And the, they, the way they framed it is, well, what about like the like BLM riots last summer? What about that? What? I, I don't understand the inability to separate things. Like, you know, like, why can't they talk about something real? Well, my, my, fear, my fear is that the, yeah, no, and, and my fear is that the whataboutism, I think you're right that this is part of it. My concern is that some, some very significant minority of Republicans, maybe it's 2%, 5%, 10%, I don't know. But I, I, I think there may be some percentage that not only are engaging in whataboutism, but actively believe that there was voter fraud and that a coup on the government was justified. Under oh, the you, you think that they actively believe this? Sorry. I, I, think there, I think there are some per, percentage, even if you're talking about one or two percent, that's a pretty significant number of Americans. They can do a lot of damage.